Hey everyone, welcome to Two Chefs, episode uno. Today uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to break down a whole chicken, so. Mara is a professional at this, <laughs> seriously. She's like, <laughs> she, how many whole chickens have you done in your whole life? Broken down. Thousands cooked. upon thousands yeah. upon thousands. So we're gonna show you guys thousands. how to do that and hopefully this helps you guys out. First things first. So, first off, this is my whole chicken. It's just out of the fridge. Um, really quick, I just wanna say that we get our chickens through our butcher shop and they get them from all these small farms. It's pasture raised, it's healthy. So when we're buying meat like that, the best thing we can do is get it in its full form and then that way we can cut it down and use it for all its different parts. We could save the bones and skins to make broth later. It's way more cost effective, it's cheaper by the pound. So lots of benefits to buying it whole. A lot of people buy it whole but then don't know what to do it after that. I'm gonna show you how to cut it and break it down into its basic parts so you can use it for whatever you want. So the first thing I always do is take it out of the package and give it a, a little cold rinse. Rinse it out. Whoop. Get through the neck, under the wings, and then one more time in the cavity. Always have your paper towels ready onto the sheet tray and then we're just gonna pat it dry. So before we start breaking it down, I kinda wanna explain the 12 different cuts. You're gonna have the two breasts on the top. Most people are familiar with actual wings, like chicken wings when they're eating at a restaurant or something. This is uh, the flat one here and then this will be the drumette here. And then you have your classic drumstick here, and then you'll have a thigh right back here, and then you've got your spine and backbone here, which we don't really use for anything. So those are gonna be the 12 cuts that we're gonna break it down into today. A couple of equipment things is a plastic cutting board is best for this because you can put it in the dishwasher to sanitize it afterwards. Next is having a very sharp knife. Do not be afraid of a sharp knife. Just gonna get it a little bit sharper. Okay, so now we are going to begin our first cuts. The first ones I like to do are the wings. Try to find the best way for you to see this. You're gonna grab the wing tip and there's gonna be a joint right here, just like your fingers and your knuckles have a joint. Make just a simple slit through the skin and then you're gonna crack it the opposite way and you'll see the joint and the um, bone socket there and just cut in between. And then you've got your little wing tip. Next is gonna be the flat part of the wing. We're gonna do the same thing. Make a small slit through the skin and some of the flesh. And then we're gonna take it, break it in half. You can see here again, the bone in the socket. Put your knife in between and just make a simple cut. Next, I want to do the drumette part, which is this part of the wing here. You're going to lift up the wing, find this pocket here underneath, it's like the armpit. You're going to go tickle somebody, like so. Just again, around in the skin and through the flesh a little bit, and then you're going to pop it again. Those sounds are normal, I swear. And just cut right through it, like so. And now you've got your little drumette. So next, I like to remove the drumsticks. So again, pull it up, around, light, slices in between, break it apart, and then slice in between. And here you have your drumstick. Next, we're gonna remove the chicken breasts. So first thing is you wanna locate that breastbone that goes down the middle because you can't slice through that bone, so. And you just wanna get as close to that line, that bone as you possibly can. And my knife is hitting the rib bone down here. That's your guide. I'm slicing just slightly right here just because I can feel the wishbone right here, which goes down here and here. 
and connects with that center bone again. And here, I'm just slicing along those ribs, the breast bones, I should say. There's the tender right here, that little chicken tender attached to the breast. And then I just come along through here and then I just, I'm gonna slice right here at the bottom of that. Just trying to remove that last little bit there that's connected and some of that skin. There you go. So this is your breast and your tender right there. Lastly, you have your thighs. We're gonna turn this over a little bit. I'm just cutting through just the skin, just so I can see where I'm going. There is a spine bone that runs down here, and there's a little pocket of thigh meat here that connects with that backbone, and I just wanna get that out. Always be careful where your fingers are. And once you kind of detach that little pocket, um, it's pretty smooth sailing after that. And then under here, you can see this side here. Same thing, pop out that bone and then you should be able to just slice that meat right off. And there's your thigh. Okay, so now you have all your cuts. Two thighs, your two drumsticks, your two drumettes, your two wing tips, your two um, wing flats, and then the two breasts here. So this here is the rest of the carcass and we're just gonna put it in a plastic zip top bag and put it in the freezer and we'll use it for bone broth later. You're really good at breaking down chicken. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't do it that good. Our roasted chicken is the best roasted chicken. You know why? It's a bold statement. <laughs> compound butter. That is true. We make this compound butter. This just came out of the freezer. You can see it's just a hunk of butter with tons of herbs. We'll, we'll make a video on how to make that someday. But, but I can tell you that what's in this one, because I just made this yeah. like last week. Fresh parsley, sage, thyme, lemon, lemon zest, and a little salt. Yeah. I think that's it. So we're gonna take the butter and we're gonna put it underneath the skin of the chicken. Yeah, so it's giving it a little bit more of that like fat, but also when you put it in there and then the butter kind of melts away, but it, all the herbs are left under the, under the skin, kind of in between the skin and the flesh, so. Now we're gonna put the compound butter underneath the skin of the chicken. So there's butter underneath the skin of every single piece. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some olive oil and we're just gonna drizzle the tops of every single one of these. Sea salt. And we're just gonna sprinkle up high. That just makes it so that every piece gets a good amount of salt. We preheated our oven to 375 and these are ready to go in. So we're gonna leave these in here for about 20 minutes. We're gonna temp all the different pieces. Some are gonna cook really fast because they're smaller and the larger ones are gonna cook a little slower. So I'm gonna show you guys how to check the doneness of each piece. Timer just went off, it's been 20 minutes. We're gonna check and temp the chicken now. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look at all that awesome butter and chicken fat. Oh my gosh. Wing tips are done. They're crispy and amazing. Those can go onto a wire rack on top of a sheet tray. I will guarantee you that all of these are done. 
because they're just so tiny they don't take that long. So now we're going to start temping the other pieces. I'm going to start with smallest to largest. We're looking for a temperature between 155 and 160 and this is perfect. Next we're going to temp the thighs and the goal is to tempt them next to the bone in the thickest part of the meat and these are done. Beautiful. Next we're going to temp the breasts. And just like I suspected, these are the thickest part of all the cuts and they do need another two minutes and that's it. We were so close. Almost all done at the same time, which is amazing. So these will get two more minutes and then we'll take them out and rest them on the sheet tray on, with the rack. Now they're all done. Now we're just gonna let all these pieces rest for a minimum of 10 minutes. We've let it rest and it's beautiful it color. So good. I think right, the biggest thing it. that people complain about is dry chicken. Two things, pull it out before it's at 155, so like 155, 160, and let it rest. So, yeah. Let's so. try it. I'm so ready to eat it. Let me eat a little these guys. Look at this amazing mm. herby action. I forgot oh, there was yeah. garlic in it too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so moist. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that subscribe button. Boom. Solid chicken.